Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I used this exact lock almost three years ago on a video. And I was playing around with it today, and I thought, you know, I'm going to show a little bit about how you could add flare or bling, a little bit of pizzazz to your graphic equally like this. I added these dots. So I've already taken the clip art. I brought it in and I cut it in half. So there's another video out there three years ago. And then all I did was take a, I actually freehanded this line right here. And I could have gone further or whatever. And I'm going to cursor it out of the way. Let's just go one inch so it'll stay inside the screen. And then I'm just going to draw a circle. Holding down the control button and making it equal. I'm using somebody else's program and it's... Uh, when somebody sends me a file, they... Uh, until I close it down... I want to make it red just because I'm used to drawing it red. And it's a hairline. And then I'm going to make a duplicate of that with Control D. Then I'm going to select both my circles. I'm going to go up to Effects, Blend, and I'm going to blend just five times, giving me seven circles. Then I'm going to go right here in New Path, and I'm going to click on my path. And then I'm going to blend along full path. And what it did, it took my five circles and put them, or put my new five circles in the center. Now I can click on it and go up to range. Let me make sure I get it all. Go up to range and break blend apart. Now kind of zoom in and just get your path and hit delete. Then, because your nudge factor is still the same, you can just nudge it into that spot. And this is a way to clean up stuff. Uh, the other video is about how to clean up stuff. And you could clean up. You could make these curls a little better. You know, if you're fortunate enough to have the smoothing tool, you could smooth out that curve a little bit. Or even with nodes, you know, take your shape tool. And then this way, all these sides of the lock will be identical like there's a double node don't really need it don't really have to do this but then i'm going to let's zoom in here a little bit i'm going to select it all and i'm going to control d and make a duplicate and i'm going to grab that corner till i get the double arrow and i'm just going to move it over now you've got your dots on both sides just take your smart fill tool and fill in these other parts and two things, if you're not going to cut it, right click and get rid of the hairlines. But you could do anything to this. You could change the, 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 the scrolls. Uh, let's just back up here and do something real quick. Make sure we don't have a duplicate. Let's just uh, take our nodes and let's make this scroll. I don't really have that much artistic ability, but then uh, take away some nodes and do some shaping and whoop, don't want to do that one, but, you know, go like that. So you made that scroll a little bit bigger. And then you could control D, make a duplicate, wait till you get the double handle, move it over, get your smart fill tool and fill it in. And now you've got a little bit more decorative scroll. And then zoom in and just remember that you have hairlines, so you want to remove them. So you could do, well, one, if you're not going to cut it, if you're just going to engrave it, it's not going to cut. But if you've got any vector anywhere else and you're doing a combination job, you need to get rid of that outline of that hairline. But there's no possibilities or endless. You could have put circles down here just to give it a little extra engraving quality, I guess you'd call it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.